Hey, you guys, just the van's fine right here. Just leave it right here. Now, I promised you an exclusive. I'm his campaign manager. I'll go in and get him. You've got, you've got the whole story for yourself. None of the other networks. This is a big scoop. It'll be the first one. I owe it to you guys, right? Okay, let me get him. He usually comes out from up there to see who it is. Hey, uh, whoa, you're not dressed. Uh, come on, today is the interview. Alone. Today's the interview. You can you can come in. They can. Okay, dude. I'm not talking to any TV people now. Mm -hmm. Please. Listen, uh, I'll have them ready about 15, 15 minutes. Why don't you guys go out and get? Give them whatever get, they want. Just they can't come in. All right, just go okay. get a little couple of burritos or something. I'll be back. I'm back in 15 minutes. I'll talk to them. Whoa, come on, man. Listen, you hired me as your campaign manager. What are you doing sitting up here? You told me that we could have an exclusive interview with these guys. You're supposed to announce them right now, today. They're waiting. Do you believe my promises? I'm a politician. You know? Oh, God, come on. I know you're depressed, but look at all the good stuff that you got here. Listen, you were in New West. Me. You were in uh, People Magazine, Time Magazine. Big deal. I mean, you got more press here than that Anderson guy who ran for president. Yeah, right? well, he, ran, he, ran for, he was going for uh, a whole year there campaigning. And he got only 6%, but he made 4 million bucks. Think about that, pal. Okay, just think about that for a while. I got the TV crew down there waiting. I'm going to show them these campaign tapes from 1978. Yeah. Mm. And just keep them busy. I don't hold them off. I don't, don't make any up. promises, huh? Get ready. Make all the promises you want. Get ready. Get Brush ready. your hair. Ready. Listen, uh, I'm going to have to wait a little bit longer. You guys are going to have to wait a little bit longer. Lowell's still a little bit paranoid. About meeting public and interviews and stuff, but I'll get it for you. You got the exclusive. Don't worry about it. You know he did only uh, get 62,000 votes. You know, and he's uh, a little low. You know, on the confidence level right now. But uh, listen, we did uh, shoot a lot of his campaign tapes. So uh, why don't you take a look at this stuff, and I'll go talk to him a little bit longer, and just wait here, and I'll be right back. When Lowell Darling ran for governor two years ago, he brought humor to politics. He promised, if elected, to replace the tax system with incredible good luck, lower the voting age to 12 or possibly five and a half, banish all billboards in all new billboard city, and harness psychic power so Californians could think their cars down freeways. Although Lowell's campaign was only a laughing matter, he got national attention from magazines, newspapers, and all the networks. Clearly, Lowell had mastered the fine art of politics. Someone asked me why I chose to run. To understand the problem, one must become part of the problem. Jerry Brown said being governor was just another job. You get up in the morning, you go to work, and go home at night. I think I can do that too. Hello. Come on. What? Let's just don't be reading that junk, huh? That's good. Come on. It's about a win. Listen, I promised these guys for the exclusive. And you promised me. Now, what's going on? Let's my, go. The last promise that I kept was, uh, you know, when I made my sorry loser speech at my victory party, and I said, you know, if I don't win tonight, I'm going out of state. I'm going in exile. I mean, that's what I did. Thanks for all your support. And uh, if you ever come out of California, come and see me. People didn't put me in office. People love you. People aren't buying my book. What am I? Let's go out and meet the public. Let's see if they are buying your book. Let's see what they think about this presidential thing. You just can't be sitting up in this room. The last like time this. I went and met the public, the public, you know, I mean, they scared me. Come I don't on, let's to. get dressed. No, those guys are looking at those tapes. We got a little time. Put no. your put your outfit on. Give me a and break. let's go down to the shopping center. Okay, what suit do you want me to wear? Yeah, this is this is ridiculous. My wife's waiting. Around. I, mean, I got kids to feed. Yeah, I I mean, we've been here all day. It's an exclusive. We got to wait around until it happens. He's going to announce. Ding ding. Hey, here's a nice bookstore right here. Looks like a reliable place. Now look, you just go in here and you ask the guy, "Do you have my book?" It's very simple. You can do that. Okay. Uh, yeah, I wondered if uh, you had my book. Which book was this? One hand shaking. One hand shaking. Yeah. My name is. Oh yeah, one hand shaking. Sure, we used to have that. Sure, we had a copy one time. We sold out. See that? Sold out, man. Hey, <laughs> big deal. One book. <laughs> sold out. That's the important word. Yeah. 
Can I ask you if you think I look like uh, I should run for president? You're kidding. Uh, would you guys vote for me for president? No. 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 No? Lowell who? Lowell who? Lowell who? Yes. <laughs> okay. Most definitely. Well, yeah. I think you got to vote. <laughs> Thank you, I'm sir. I'm feeling better already. <laughs> what are you running for president now? The United States. Do you think you might consider voting for me? I sure would. When I met the public, yeah, it wasn't too bad, was it? You sold a book. There were probably a lot more books. That was only one bookstore. One store, one book. Uh huh. Well, yeah, I feel uh, better a little bit. A little bit. So listen, I'm going to go out and get the uh, TV crew. They've been waiting out there for six hours. We're going to no, talk wait, to them no, now, wait right? No, just a minute. I want okay. to get a few things resolved before I talk to them, because I don't want to appear in public, you know, and I don't want to meet people, and I want to, you know, be a hermit, basically. So I think the only way I'm going to appear is on the media. That's good. Like tonight, you took me out, you introduced me to all these people. I met, well, you know, if I meet one or two people there, it's one or two votes. I do it on television. I talk to these two guys. I can talk to hundreds of thousands of people. Great, that's, that's what I've been trying to tell you. Now let's get a meeting, okay? okay? Fine, terrific. Okay, guys. Hi, <laughs> uh, you're here waiting. I got your exclusive for you. A very important announcement from Mr. Lowell Darling. Thank you. Hey, you're okay. Hey, Todd. Ladies and gentlemen, I decided to run for president of the United States of America in 1985 after we banned the year 1984. We're going to treat it like the 13th floor of a building for obvious reasons. Actually, I'm not going to be running for president of the United States. I'm going to be running for head park ranger because we're going to turn this country into an international recreation park. And I'm going to be head park ranger. And you are going to be park rangers with me. Thank you, Americans.